Crossing the Jordan River Joshua and the Israelites were camped at the bank of the Jordan River. They had been traveling for a long, long time, and now they were finally ready to enter the Promised Land. The river was flooded and flowing fast, it seemed like the worst time to cross. Joshua looked out over the wide, rushing water of the Jordan River and wondered how they would get across. They were so close, but the Promised Land seemed so far away. But God gave Joshua special instructions. Joshua called the priests who were carrying the Ark of the Covenant. The Ark was a special box that reminded the Israelites of God's presence. Joshua told the priests, when you step into the river, the water will stop flowing, and we will be able to cross on dry ground. The priests trusted God and obeyed Joshua. They carried the Ark of the Covenant and stepped into the Jordan River. As soon as their feet touched the water, something amazing happened. The water stopped flowing, and the riverbed became dry. All the Israelites crossed the river safely, following the priests who carried the Ark. After everyone had crossed the river, God told Joshua to choose 12 men, one from each tribe, to gather 12 stones from the dry riverbed. They carried the stones and built a monument. Joshua said, these stones will remind us of the miracle God did here today. Whenever we see this monument, we will remember how God stopped the river so we could cross safely. And so, the Israelites entered the Promised Land, remembering God's power and faithfulness.